enjoying my videos. Uh, today I thought I would do something that I've seen circulating around YouTube and I thought would be really fun and would be a way for you guys to get to know me more and like Jimmy and my story and our plans and blah 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 blah, right? Um, I've seen a bunch of TTC planner tag videos and they look a lot like a lot of fun. Um, nobody had tagged me specifically or anything like that, but I figured, you know, screw the rules, I'm gonna just make a video without being tagged. Um, I took questions from two separate like groups of questions and combined them. Um, so totally there totally so in total, there are 32 questions. I'm gonna try and knock them out um, as fast as I can. Not talk forever, even though I could, and we all know that I could. I'm right? going to type up the list and put them down below. If you want to do this video, if you want to be tagged, then I tag you. Feel free to do it. It's I think it's super fun, and it's a great way for us all to get to know each other. So um, I'll start with the questions, right? So the first question is, how long have you been trying to conceive? Um, for Jimmy and I, it's been almost three years. We started August 9th, 2013, 11 months and 15 days since we started trying to conceive. Uh, so that calculates down to two years, 11 months, two weeks and a day. So that's quite a bit of time. Um, I do kind of want to acknowledge the milestone of three years coming up by getting a tattoo, but who knows if that'll happen, right? Question number two. Um, how many kids do you want to have? So when I was a kid, I always said, I want to have a whole football team. And if I was a rich woman and I had a rich husband, then that would still stand. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the case, and I have to be realistic. Ideally, I hope to have three. Um, at this point, I'd be happy just to add one more. Um, even if that didn't happen, I would still be happy to have Layla. Uh, but I think three is a good number, right? Um, although I have told Jimmy that if we don't have a girl, if we don't have a boy, we're going to keep going until we get one. So we can have 15 girls in a row and I'm still going for that boy. So who knows, right? Um, number three, how close in age do you want them to be? I, if it was up to me, we would already have number two and working towards number three. I always wanted all my kids to be close in age. I felt like that, I feel like that would be a great way for them to um, grow up together. My older brother and I are five years apart. We're not as close as I would like to be. And I think part of that is because since we're five years apart, he felt the pressure to kind of help like raise me or something. Um, but maybe that's just like our situation. Ideally, I would want like two and a half to three years apart per kid, but that's not how it's going to happen. So, um, as soon as possible now, as, as close as I can get them, right? Um, number four, if you have a boy, will you circumcise? Yeah. <laughs> um, Jimmy and I talked about this when I was pregnant with Layla. Not something that we had to discuss for long, not because we we're having a girl, but because we both agreed on circumcision, um, I think it's cleaner, I think it's, I don't know, safer? I, I mean, I haven't really done a whole lot of research on it, so I can't really say, but um, part of it is I've heard that they're way more sensitive when they're not circumcised, so, you know, why not give the kid a fighting chance, as they say, and what to expect when you're expecting. Um, Question number five. How old are you and your significant other? I'm 27. Jimmy's 31. Both of our birthdays are coming up within a couple of months. So we'll say 27 to 28 and he's 31 to 32. Yeah, he's an old man. Uh, what's your marital status? We're married. We're 
going on a year of marriage, but six years together. Question seven. What are the crazy things you do while trying to conceive? Um, to people who aren't trying to conceive, a lot of what I do would seem completely and utterly insane. Um, a lot of it seems that way to Jimmy, but to those of you who are trying to conceive, you know that what I'm about to say isn't so crazy, right? <laughs> um, so mostly the crazy things I do while trying to conceive are planning my life around another baby. I mean, it's going on Pinterest and creating gender reveal parties and baby showers and uh, nurseries and uh, birth plans and just like every little thing you can plan about having a baby, you plan online. It's making baby registries for, um, you know, fake baby registries for a baby that you don't have. It's checking out every single new baby product and cool stroller and all of this stuff. It's shopping for the baby that you have not yet conceived. Um, watching every single baby video and baby movie and everything baby, 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 baby. So it's all completely insane, but all normal at the same time. I spend a lot of time on Instagram and Pinterest and Facebook and YouTube and that's just what it's like when you're trying to conceive, right? Um, number eight, what keeps you busy during the two week wait? Um, I've never actually had the two week wait because I have not ovulated since before, well, since I got pregnant with Layla, really, um, which is over like six years ago. So, um, you know, in order to have a two week wait, you have to have ovulated and then wait the two weeks until it would show up that you're pregnant. Um, so I mean, I don't do anything to keep me busy during the two week wait, but I do just live life to keep busy. You know, I go to work every day and I take care of Layla and I clean the house and I hang out with friends and I watch movies and I watch YouTube and I plan my baby showers and I go shopping. Like I just do normal things. I, I do adult coloring books sometimes. I craft. I don't write so much anymore. It's like too jumbled in my brain. Um, you know, we're going swimming a whole lot. We just live life. You know, it's the only thing I can do. I'm lucky that I already have a child and I have a job and I have a lot of things that keep me busy because if I was staying at home, I didn't already have a child, I think I would go insane because I wouldn't know what to do to keep busy. What days do you usually ovulate? I don't ovulate. I have not ovulated since I got pregnant with Layla. Um, so I wouldn't know what days I ovulate. That's what we're working on. Question 10, what gender are you hoping for? Um, so it's obvious we're hoping for a boy. That's just because we already have a girl and if this is the last child we'll ever have, it would be nice to have a boy and a girl. Um, I love having a girl. I love the, you know, the fun princessy things that go along with having a girl. Um, and Layla's kind of a tomboy, so I get the best of both worlds, but there's just something about like wanting to have one of each and wanting to have a son, giving Jimmy a son to pass on his name and all that stuff. Um, if I didn't have a boy, I, being like completely 100% honest, I would be a little disappointed and I would want to keep going until I had a boy, but if it never happens, I'll still be happy that I have children at all, so, you know, hoping for a boy, but it really, really doesn't matter, especially since Layla wants a sister so bad. She can almost like taste it. She's just, oh, I want a sister, I want a sister, I want a sister. She thinks boys are yucky right now. So, either way, we'll be happy. Um, question 11, how many pregnancy books do you have? So I only own like, like two, I think right now. And they're just things that like have been discarded from the library. And so you, I bought them for like a quarter. Um, 
I used to have a lot, but since I work at the library now, I don't even feel the need to buy them because I just get them from work for free. So I think it's like one or two. Um, question 12. How many home pregnancy tests do you take in each cycle? So when we first started trying to conceive, I would only take, I, like I would take one every month um, to make sure that I wasn't pregnant. Um, or to see if I was pregnant. And then once we got to a point where I realized we were having trouble and then realized I wasn't ovulating, I just kind of hit a point where I stopped taking them. And even now, because I'm seeing the doctor and I don't really need to take them because I know I'm still not ovulating, um, I don't really take them all unless I'm having weird symptoms that make me think that I might be and might like drive myself insane and pee on. I mean, I, I'm not a pee on a stick addict as they're called. Like, I don't know how you guys do it. I hate seeing those negatives. And when I know the negative's gonna be there, it like destroys me even more. And there are women who like constantly are just like peeing on sticks every day. And I don't know how you do it. I, I, it's so difficult to see a negative. I couldn't imagine like seeing one like numerous negatives every single month I can do. Um, question 13, what designs or themes do you have for a nursery? So for me, because we have Layla, it's like I, I would have to take her into account either way because they would share a room. Um, I lean towards like a woodland theme with animals. I love all different kinds of like forest animals, especially squirrels, they're my favorite animal in the world. Um, so like squirrels and owls and foxes and raccoons and bears and deer and um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like I would love to have like a rustic woodland room for her or for them. Um, but she loves superheroes, so like if we had a boy we would probably give him a superhero room because she's like obsessed with the Avengers and she would not care, but mostly it's um, a woodland theme with maybe some other elements thrown in there. I also really like um, hot air balloons, but I don't know. It would be something I would talk with to Layla about, honestly. Uh, question 14. Do you plan to do a pregnancy vlog when you can see? Uh, yeah, I really hope to do that. I'm I don't do daily vlogs, I don't do like vlogs where I show you my day. It's too hectic and not enough time for editing for all of that. Um, I did do one, uh, but I couldn't do like a daily vlog, especially pregnant, but um, I do want to do like weekly update videos and gender reveal videos and baby shower videos and all that kind of stuff. So um, when I do conceive, I, I'm going to be doing all of that. Um, question 15, which YouTubers do you like to watch? So I should have wrote this down, uh, and I didn't, because I'm kind of dumb and my brain's all razzled. Um, but I watch quite a few YouTube channels right now. Um, Colin and Katie, uh, Abby TTC Dreambound, I think it is, uh, Cassie Moon, IVF Mama Vlogs. Uh, I was watching Ashley and Blake, but they haven't made some for quite a while. Um, oh my gosh. That quick, they all went off my brain. Um, okay, baby. Um, Heather's Journey. There's like a whole bunch of them. I'll make a list and put them down. The only like non fertility and, and all that and family like YouTubers I watch to is just um, Key and Toomey. He cracks me up so um, mostly it's all like trying to conceive and pregnancy and family videos and vlogs. Um, question 16. What have you bought for your future baby? So, if you watched my previous video of my uh, Once Upon a Child haul, you would see that there were some um, outfits I bought for future.
your baby and then my HSG vlog I bought some stuff for baby and then I have a what's in my box baby hope chest box um, video that has all of the stuff that I bought for baby or had from Layla we got blankets we have onesies we have fast fire we have books we have a ton of stuff I'm constantly looking for things for future baby <laughs> Uh, question 17, do you have a birth plan? Not really. Um, I didn't have one when I was pregnant with Layla. I was very naive. I didn't know much about things. I kind of just went with the flow. I didn't research a whole lot of things about birth plans. Um, I didn't really ask my mom. <laughs> um, it's really strange. And I was like the first one out of my friends to have a baby so um I didn't have a, a birth plan then so maybe I would have like a tentative birth plan now uh but even so I don't think I really would because it's just so unpredictable and I wouldn't want to be upset if things didn't go to plan like I think I have a basic idea of what I want um but you know, I'm open to whatever is going to be best for me and baby. Um, 18. Will you find out the gender? Yes. I don't know how you guys who don't find out the gender do it. It would drive me insane. I need to plan. I need to plan for a boy or a girl. I need to know what kind of clothes buy. Everybody else around me is going to want to know. Um, I wouldn't be able to keep it a secret. So... Yeah, I would want to know the gender. I don't think it's the last surprise that we'll ever have because everyday life is filled with surprises. Why not plan something that you can be prepared for? Um, so, yeah, I would definitely find out the gender. Um, question 19. Will you use a pacifier? Yes. There are parents who won't use a pacifier and... I mean, I guess maybe they have some valid reasons, but for me, it boils down to, with Layla, I got years and years, like two years, three years of peace, quiet, and help with that pacifier. You know, sometimes it was the only thing that would calm her down. It was a little frustrating when it was time to break her of it, you know, um, but a week or two of really sticking to it and not giving it to her and giving her other things to help her cope with not having it um it's just that's what helped us i feel like a lot of people will say well it's so hard to break the baby of it but it's only hard to break the baby of it if you don't stick to your guns right so we had to stick to our guns and it was hard because when we were breaking Layla of her pacifier she really pushed us to our limits and we almost gave it to her but we knew that that was not going to help so we had to deal with it and find other ways of coping and so did she and then it was fine it took a few weeks but it was worth the year it was really worth like the years the, the many nights that I got to sleep because she had a pacifier um, question 20 are you the first middle or last of friends trying to conceive I don't know how to answer this question really um, I only have one person in my in like my I don't know in like my Facebook realm and friends that it was a girl that I um, or it's a girl that I went to school with in like grade school it's the only person I know who's actively trying to have a baby a lot of people who are trying to conceive don't tell people about it for a lot of very valid reasons so um, I wouldn't know as far as I know I'm the first one of my friends to come out and say that I'm trying to have a baby and we're having difficulty um, none of my immediate friends are trying to have babies um, so I would say I'm the first but I, I honestly don't know uh, question 22 will you get or use hand-me-downs if you watched my last video where I did a once upon a child haul you know the answer to this question I love hand-me-downs I don't mind hand-me-downs you know even if I get hand-me-downs that aren't in great condition I still love getting them because then I have like play clothes you know that, that Layla can get dirty in and I don't have to 
freak out about her getting all her other clothes messed up. So, hand-me-downs are great. And I would hope to get hand-me-downs, but it really is just dependent on, um, you know, the people around me and what, what gender baby I have and what they have, you know. I hope that I could get hand-me-downs and I would buy second-hand clothes. But, uh, who knows? Uh, question 22. Will you make your own baby food? Probably not. I'm just being honest here. I... I barely cook for myself. Um, and yes, making baby food is, is fairly easy, but it's expensive and it's time consuming and that's two things I don't have an abundance of. Time and money. Um, we used baby food with Layla. It was perfectly fine. Um, I know what ingredients are in there. They're on the table. Uh, you know. If I was staying at home, then I would love to try and make baby food. If I had an excess of money, I would love to make baby food. But it's, it's really difficult to buy fresh produce and steam it and mash it and freeze it and all of that good stuff. I commend those of you who do it and are going to do it. Maybe it, it, I, it's something I could try, but I don't think it's something I would do um, regularly. It's just not possible. Um, question 23, will you co-sleep? So, I mean, I guess it depends on your definition of co-sleep. We would not sleep with baby in the bed. There is barely room for me and Jimmy in this bed. He takes up the whole thing. Um, co-sleep with baby in the room, absolutely. Um, that's what we did with Layla. More by necessity than by choice. We lived in an efficiency apartment, and so, you know, there was only one room. But now that we have a house, we would have baby in, in the bedroom with us for the first six or so months, and then move baby into the crib or whatever with Layla um, in the bedroom. But, um, no baby in the bed. There's no room. Jimmy flails and screams in his sleep. He has nightmares and stuff. I, I, I just don't I, don't, I don't have the space. And um, those co-sleeper things that go next to the bed, I mean, they seem great, but even I, like, even I kind of flail around and I would be too afraid that I'd roll over and smack baby on the head on accident or something. Um, question 24, will you go back to work or stay home? Um, definitely go back to work in this day and age. Just can't afford not to. You know, Jimmy doesn't have this super great job that, you know, pays tons of money and, and can afford us to have one of us stay home. Yeah, you know, my job, I have a job in the city, but I don't make enough for him to stay at home. So, we both have to go to work. We're lucky enough that my mom is now retired and would be um, a babysitter for us at you know, heck of a lot lower cost than what we would pay at a childcare facility. By the time we had a you know, baby, Layla would be in school, um, so we wouldn't have to pay for that because she'll go to public school. And, um, yeah, I just can't, I couldn't afford to stay at home. I just can't do it. I would love to. I was a stay at home mom with Layla, and, you know, it was great, but it was hard. You know, you're taking care of a child and you have no adult communication. Going back to work was actually really great for me because I had lost all my confidence and all of my work, self-worth. So, um, I think even if I could afford to stay home, I probably wouldn't stay home. It, I feel better when I work. Uh, question 25. How long will you let baby cry out? So, um, this is a hard question to answer because it's really not just me. Uh, when it was time for, well, not when it was time for Layla, but when we had Layla, she was two or three by the time we were able to let her cry it out. And as much as I love Jimmy, it's all his fault. He would not let her cry it out. If she got upset, he would go in and he would pick her up because he did not want to listen to her scream and cry. 
And so she knew that. And when I would try and get him to say, you gotta leave her go, he just, she would freak out because she wanted daddy to pick her up or mommy to pick her up. Um, and it was hard for us to move in because we were in an efficiency. And we couldn't really get away from the screen, you know? Um, but when she got her own bedroom, when it came time for her to scream, she did. Jimmy was still running and get her, and we had a difficult time, and finally I convinced him. I said, look, give me a couple of weeks to let me see if it's going to work for her cried out, knowing full well it was going to work. And of course, within a week or two, she had learned that crying wasn't going to get her picked up, and she learned different ways of soothing herself, and we didn't have to deal with it anymore. I mean, we let her cry it out, and she was fine. I don't have a problem with letting baby cry it out once they hit, like, a certain age that, you know, I know they're learning that this is a part of life, you know? I feel like kids need to fall in order to learn and get back up and stuff like that. I'm kind of a hands-off parent most of the time. Um, so crying it out, like, yes, it's hard because you, you want to comfort your baby, but at the same time, you know, you got to let them go sometimes. It's just how it is. Um, question 26, will you breastfeed, and if so, for how long? I hope to. Um, when I was pregnant with Layla, my plan was to breastfeed, but I knew full well that it was going to be difficult and that I might not be able to do it. And I probably could have. Uh, but I got really scared that she wasn't eating because she would, you know, first we had difficulty with her latching on then, so she learned how to latch, but then she would fall asleep almost immediately and would stop eating altogether and it became like every half hour to an hour I was trying to feed her and she would just fall asleep. And I couldn't get her to stay up and it was very scary and it was very difficult and it was very time consuming and eventually I just gave up. Um, I don't want to do that again. I want to breastfeed and pump and supplement with the pump, but if it comes down to it and I need to formula feed, like, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I think that, um, the way society is nowadays, it's like, when you don't breastfeed, some moms, some moms would have a tendency to, like, look down on you because you're not breastfeeding. Um... But, you know, every person's life and, and situation is different, you know, and, and I have the best intentions, but I'm not going to beat myself up or let someone else make me feel bad that I didn't do it. My mom made me feel really guilty when I stopped breastfeeding Layla, and I beat myself up over it, over it for, like, a long time, and I won't, I won't let myself do that anymore. I'm not going to feel guilty, you know, for having to change my plan. Yeah. Um, question 27, when will you introduce solids? Um, I'll do the same thing I did with Layla. They say at four months it's safe to start introducing solids, so that's what I would do at four months. You know, baby cereal and, and maybe a little bit of applesauce and just see how baby likes it. If they take it and are willing to try and eat off a spoon, then I'll stick with it. If not, then I'll just wait a little bit of time and try again. Um, Layla, I tried it for months. She wasn't really into it. And every, like, week I would try again. And she didn't really get into it and really start wanting to eat solids until six months. And that was fine, you know. And once she did, then she was really into cereal with applesauce. So, or bananas. So, um, yeah, four months, I guess. Um, question 28, do you have names picked out? So, sort of. I have a boy name and a girl name that I really love. Jimmy says he likes them and he's fine with them, but, you know, he's a man. And when I, we actually get pregnant, his thoughts might change on that. Um, I would really love to stick with the names that we have picked out. Uh, I know that our girl's name especially would be kind of like an issue 
with some people in Jimmy's family. As much as I love them, they'll think I'm weird and my baby name is weird. Um, but I love the name I have picked out. I love both names I have picked out. I think they're really unique. They're special to me and um, I'd be happy keeping those names. But if not, I have lists of uh, other names. We've talked about it, but it gets a little difficult because Jimmy is always like, oh, when we get pregnant, then we'll talk about it. Um, but yes, we have names sort of picked out, and no, I'm not telling you any of them. Uh, 29, will you homeschool? No, I'll be going back to work. Um, I'll definitely be very involved in their education, but I feel like uh, socialization with children their age is so important. And, um, you know, I trust the teachers, and I'm a very hands-on parent when it comes to that. You know, I'll want to know what the homework is. I'll want to know what the classwork is. I will help with homework. I like to go on the trips and all that stuff. So, um, I'll still be very involved in my children's education. I just won't be able to homeschool. Uh, question 30, home or hospital birth? Definitely hospital birth. I, if I even mention home birth to Jimmy, he gets skeeved out, and honestly, like, I can't blame him because it's a lot of work, you know, you have to make sure your house is a certain way, and you have to, then, like, afterwards, you gotta clean up and all this stuff, that's a lot of work. I would much rather just, and, and especially because with Layla, like, we had a difficult birth, if I had had a home birth, things could have went really wrong really quickly and wound up having to take an ambulance or something. Um, there was a, definitely a lot of bleeding. So for me, I'd feel safer in a hospital where, you know, there's the medical staff and the medical technology and the medicine to um, help me through the process. So, hospital birth. Uh, 31, plan C-section, epidural, or natural birth. Um, well, planned C-section would only be if I had problems during pregnancy and the doctors felt it was the safest way to do it was to plan a C-section. Um, other than that, like I wouldn't plan a C-section because I gave birth vaginally to Layla, so um, I wouldn't be like almost required to have another C-section. Natural birth, I, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's painful, and I thought I could tolerate pain, and, and that was not anything like I thought it was going to be, and, um, yeah, those women that do get birth naturally, like, they deserve medals, like, I mean, everyone deserves a medal for giving birth, I'm sorry, but the women who do it naturally, they need, like, platinum medals, because to not get medication to take away the pain and to push through that pain that's like a miracle on itself I screamed bloody murder when um, I gave birth to Layla they had to use forceps to get her out it was so difficult and it hurt and she tore me and I got a lot of stitches I screamed so bad the nurses had to calm Jimmy down because he panicked so um I'm, I'm playing an epidural I wish that we had gas and air like they do in like the UK and stuff, but that's not something that the state really has. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it. Um, I've never heard of hospitals doing it in my area, but I wish that was an option because I think I can handle a more natural birth that way, um, but it's just not something we do in the states. So. Uh, Epidural it is. Question 32, the very last question. We're almost there. Um, will you use cloth diapers or disposables? So I've been doing a lot of research on cloth diapers and how to cloth diaper and tips on cloth diapering. And I have a whole Pinterest board on cloth diapering. And I brought it up to Jimmy the other day and he looked at me like I had five minutes. Um, cloth diapering is not something he wants to try. He thinks it's gross and it's for hippies and blah, blah, blah. I think it's cheaper. I think it's easier. We have a washer and dryer now, so I would totally, um, take advantage of that. Um, but 
I don't know. I told him that I want to try cloth diapers at home and, um, you know, disposables at night and, like, out. Um, mainly because I know that diapers are so expensive and... Yes, cloth diapers are expensive initially, but you can buy them second hand with new inserts, and there's so many like ways to even cut down the cost of them and get them from your baby shower and things like that. And I just feel like um, it's smarter and it's better for the environment and it's more cost effective to use cloth diapers, but um, it's not a decision I can make on my own. I think I definitely want to do cloth wipes at home, um, especially because wipes are so expensive and you really do have to use like four or five wipes when you have like a, a really bad blowout, um, whereas cloth diapers, I mean cloth wipes, you really want it because they are more durable and you know, you can really, you would really only need to use like, like one. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't answer that fully, but I would hope to at least try the cloth diapers instead of the sports Um, yeah, so that's it. That was the last question. I have no idea how long this video is, but I know it's pretty long. I thank you guys so much for sticking around. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you got some insight into me and Jimmy and our plans. Um, if, again, if you you want to do this video if you're trying to conceive and you want to do this and I tag you please 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 um, comment down below and let me know if you make one so that I can watch um, and I can subscribe to your channel and all that stuff